Good morning. Wheel is at large. We're out again. It's day five. At least I think it's day five. <laughs> it was a struggle to get out of bed this morning. But I'm here. Here and raring to go. Or I'm trying to be. What do you think to these? They're very big. <laughs> it's, um, according to Alexa, minus one this morning. I'm not sure it's minus one. Probably one. My phone said one. So, more inclined to go with that. It's cold this morning. It is. Colder this morning. And it's a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to do an early tomorrow. I have to say, once I've done the ride and it's out the way. It's such a good start to the day. Yeah, it's been quite nice to have the evenings together, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, quite well. I'm not quite sure what she said, actually. I just agreed. Because with this skull cap on, I can't actually hear anything because of the wind rushing. <laughs> so, I'll find out in the edit, I guess. 82 feet of climbing already done. I'm sorry, did you say something? 82 feet of climbing already done. Oh, okay. I find it very hard to hear anything with this skull cap on. Pardon? Exactly. Unless I'm right next to you. <laughs> All I can hear is wind rushing past my ears. So if I just say, yes, dear, it's because I didn't understand a word you said. <laughs> well, that's the right answer. That's why I'm playing it safe. Well, this is Charminster Avenue. Oh, that was a good emerge by the van there. <laughs> Different. Anyway, I think we'll go down to the Five Ways Roundabout and go round it today. Mustn't turn off towards home, must go up the hill. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Wahoo's like, what on earth are you doing? Whew. Well, Alexa says it's a balmy minus one. So, All clear. We must avoid all ironwork on the road. And Julie's got big fat lobster gloves on. So it's going to be interesting to see how she gets on <laughs> stop starting the camera. Julie has literally vanished. Oh, there she is. <laughs> that means I get double climbing. I get double climbing. hands nice and warm. Where'd these come from? Planet X. Planet X. They're obviously not mine. They're Mike's. 
they fit you? No, too small. Too small for you. And that's the largest size they do. It's the largest size? Yeah. He's got big hands. I've got tiny hands. Few shiny bits on the ground there. I don't think it's ice, but we'll stay upright and take it slowly. We'll see if they change. There's plenty of sensors here. Look. Hopefully, they will know we're here. I'm trying to make myself heavy. <laughs> I think it's more metal. I don't know. Oh yeah, it did change. That's cool. We know now, then, don't we? That's good news. Not all the lights in Bournemouth change for bikes. Right. Up Pokes Downhill again. Done 320 feet of climbing already. Out here. My nose is running. The ground is sort of glistening, but it's just like, you know, frostiness. There's not ice. The sky is definitely getting brighter. Yes, orange already. Yeah, it's pretty thick actually, isn't it? Depends what angle I'm shooting from. It's possible I didn't hear that quite right. Oh, look at that. Definitely a brighter sky over the church today. We're going to stay on this time. There we go. No. Look at that. Is that an Indian Jaguar or something? I'm not sure. It's not quite right, is it? A Butte or something. Well, there we go. It's really not happy, is it? It's now locked up, so. Battery pull it is. Let's see what sunrise looks like from the Bistro Beach. Right, it's too cold to spray for. Yep, yep, yep. It is. Yeah, so just along here the cliff drops down a little bit and they've cleared the bushes so you just get that lovely shot of the purbex and old harry we're both a little bit surprised at how few feet we've done at this point in the ride so i'm sure we have more done yesterday but same route i know i filmed this yesterday but this is one of the best views Got to say, Boscan Pier and the Purbex in the distance. It is pretty clear, isn't it? Down to Boscan Pier and back up. This bit ramps up again.
hopefully when we pop out from the trees here it'll be nice and bright just like yesterday Oh, amazing. All right, 700 feet climb so far. Down to the pier, up the other side, and head for home. It's properly light now. And then the drop's giving it a bit of a push. Not quite such a good view from this side. I don't know who decided to build the Bic in brown. Anyway, looks like they've started putting the Christmas tree up. <laughs> Pretty, isn't it? Always. <laughs> There she goes. She ain't got time to muck about waiting for me. <laughs> Same way as yesterday. By the gardens here. We lead down into the into the town. We've gone along them a couple of times. They're doing some works on the um, cycle path there. So not sure what they're doing, um, but hopefully they'll be finished it fairly soon. Been working on it for a while. It's all clear. All right, last hill of the day. I'm on 948950. Should be over a thousand by the time we get to the top. That last hundred feet went so quick. I'm now on 980. So we're done. 1,000 exactly. Well done, that's quite a hill. <laughs> In this bike lane, not so much the leaves and the pine needles, it's the cones. You hit the fir cones, they do jump you all over the place. Yeah, quite unnerving at times. Eyes up. Let's go. Yep, we're good. Thank you, Van. If you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching. Day five done. Click the like button and join us for day six of our climbing challenge.
1023.